In this video, we're going to start to work with the Chart.js MySQL database series. And this video and the next video will probably be the very basics of creating a connection in, uh, in our database. So first of all here, I have a different setup here because I have here right now where, where I am working with a local host here. Basically this is on my computer itself. And then here I have the database in PHP my admin. And in here I have our basic data here. So what I'm going to do here first, and this will be very short videos, you can skip part of this video and the next one if you already know how to make a connection in the database. I just have some basic copy-paste codes that I will also put in the comment section below so you can follow along if you have a local host set up already. All right, so in here basically, this would be our data points. I have three different lines or bar, bars basically or data sets. We have the revenue, profit, and cost, and then we give it an ID. This is incremental, but you can see here all of these are just basic data points ranging somewhere from zero up to number 30, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so let's start and continue on. So first of all, we're going to create this part here. I already saved this or copied this, and I will just put it in here. I know that you could probably put it in a database connect, which is fine. You can do that as well, doesn't matter. For me, I'm just leaving it in here just for simplicity's sake because I don't want to spend too much time on this. All right, make sure I have this also in the comment section. You can copy this code. Make sure you have this if you have your local host. I gave my database the database name of chart.js, which you can see here, chart.js, and then here will be the sub database will eventually be called, or basically the table itself, it's called bar chart. So this is very important for you. If you will copy the code here, this is the local host, so root, Password is nothing, and then here, host equals local host. So make sure you have this piece of code first. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.